All right, welcome back, my dear students. It's time for us to have some fun. All right, let's create a controller and let's actually load up a view. And they're going to be custom controllers, like a custom view. All right, so let's go to controllers, the controller folder, and create a new file. I'm going to call this home.php. Save it. Make sure that it is right here in your controllers folder. All right, and I'm going to open up some PHP tags. I'm going to click, I'm going to actually write class uppercase H and then home right and then I'm going to extend the functionality of the CI underscore controller and as you can see right here what I did is that I had the uppercase CI and underscore and then the uppercase C all right then I'm gonna use public there we go function index To load up, we're going to be loading up this view. And I'm just going to echo something out right now. I'm just going to say this is the home controller. All right. Perfect. And now here, if we go to localhost CI index.php and we type in home, oops, we can see that we are using that controller. Beautiful. So it's working. Now, let's actually create a view. So I'm going to go to Views. I'm going to right click on Views and I'm going to say New File. And I'm going to call this Home underscore View because I want to make sure that they, these files, they could be the same. They could have the same names, but I want to differentiate just by putting this prefix here Home underscore View.php. Save. And I'm just going to say, there you go. Oops. I don't have to put a PHP tag here. Just save it and just put something like, hello, this is a view. And now we go to home controller right here. And then we're going to, we're going to load it, load that view by saying this load view and then inside this method here some quotes and we're gonna say home underscore view without that, that PHP without, without that extension alright so this is the name of the file the name of the home view file alright and this will find it alright let's go here and let's just refresh and look at this hello this is a view you see how this this works? I hope it's starting to make sense. All right? And this is what MVC is actually is. Now, on the next lecture, I'm going to show you how to create a custom model, all right? And how to use it with our controller and how to use it with our views. All right? So, I hope you see exactly how this is working. The controller is actually loading up the view and then the controller will communicate with the model all right and the view to produce something so the user can see it so i'll see you in the next lecture hope i hope you're having fun i am <laughs> take care bye bye